Hi folks, welcome back to AVC. Uh, today's going to be a quick review for this little RTA I've got on my punk here. This is going to be the Freesia RTA from Danvate. It's going to hold 2 mils of e-liquid with a straight glass or 3.5 with a bubble glass. A few unique features about this tank is that Danvate have tried to incorporate two styles of airflow. One catering for the mouth lung side, one catering more for the direct lung side. So therefore, you can tune this either to a mouth lung or a director lung. So yeah, go to the first, go down, open the box, take a quick look around the damp vape freezer RTA. Okay, here we have the box that the damp vape freezer comes in. Nice little open window here so you can see it through the box. On this side, just nothing. On this side, your little QR code, your little scratch and check. Telling me that mine's going to be stainless steel. This side is nothing. This side, just Dan Bates' website. And on the back, a little bit about the um, features and about all the things that come inside the box. And inside the box, we're going to get a spare bubble glass. This will take up to 3.5 mil capacity. A spare Delvin drip tip. You will use this one to do direct to lung. A little baggie with some spare O-rings, two spare glove screws and a little blue screwdriver. A little user manual. And that's it guys. There's no cotton and no coil comes of this. And here we are with the Freesia RTA itself. It comes pre-installed with the mouth lung drip tip. This is going to be a nice, slightly curved drip tip. It's really comfortable on the mouth. Really tight ball. Let me hold this here so you can see down through the tube. Yeah, as you can see there, really tight bore, so it's really nice for mouth to lung. The other drip tip, like I said, is more for your direct to lung. You can see it's more open, not massive or wide, but it's still more open than the mouth to lung drip tip. On the top, we have a little top fill system. This is not a push across yet. You have to unscrew this one to get to the fill port. to access your two fill ports here. On the base, there is two styles of airflow. This is what they mean by the tube in tube system. We've got the big open slot for your restrictive direct to lung, and we've got the four small holes for your mouth to lung. The mouth to lung holes, the first hole is gonna be a 0.8 millimeter. The second one is a one millimeter. The third one is gonna be a 1.2 millimeter. And the fourth one is gonna be a 1.6 millimeter. There is however a fifth hole on the direct along side. You turn it all the way around. You can expose one big hole here. And that big hole there is I believe two millimeters. So if these first four are slightly too tight for you, you can actually use this side, use a two millimeter air hole. Then you just turn it around further to expose the direct along airflow. I'll explain to you on the deck how that works. The air that comes in here and goes under the coil does go via a different tube than the mouth lung side, which is why it's called tube in tube system. This goes through one tube to the airflow under the coil. This goes through a second tube to the airflow under the coil. I'll show that in a second, guys. On the bottom, it does say Freesia, CE mark, and don't just in a bin. Got your little serial number there, and it says designed by Dan Vape. So unscrew this. Put that aside for one second. Take off the glass. One point to note, when I first got this, I could not remove this glass. Used it for about a week, and then last week when I was getting ready to sort of do my review, I had to get it off. So I had to force it off in the end. When I forced it off in the end, it actually did break that seal. I'll show you a close-up picture in a minute of the glass. On the glass here on the inside, that O-ring was stuck. So when I pulled it off, I actually did end up destroying the O-ring. So this is the new one out of the bag. Like I said, I'll put a picture here for you where you can see the black mark on the glass. There's still some remnants here, as you can see. Still bits there. But yeah, when I first got this, I could not get this glass off. And in the end, I just forced it in the end. And like I said, it just destroyed the O-ring. On the inside of the chamber, it is actually quite small and compact and it is slightly domed. However, you can see here it goes into the chimney to the mouthpiece. That hole there, it's quite big going to the mouthpiece, and I will touch on that later on. And here are with the build deck. 
as you can see, it's going to be a GTA style deck where the cotton just hangs down. On the top, we have the two posts. This is again just very similar to the K fun. One screw where you can put the legs in either one side or the other side, one side or the other side. Your little chambers here for your cotton to fall into. Now, underneath here on the airflow, you might notice there's a small hole. That small hole is your airflow for your mouth to lung. When you do a mouth to lung vape, the air comes through these holes here through a different tube and comes up through that small hole underneath. And likewise, when you turn it round to the dirt lung style, no air will come through that small hole. However, it then comes from around that hole. So like I said, there's two tubes, one in one. It's like one's going in here, straight to there for the mouth to lung, and one tube is going this way, straight to the director lung. I have blocked this off and tried it, and it actually does work. These are separate. Uh, so yeah, quickly go put a build in here. The call I'm going to use today is going to be from Nature Vape. It's going to be a 28 by 38 gauge. These are going to be pure camphor, one core Clapton's, coming in at around about 1.17 ohms. I got these because I'm not really keen on NI80, as you may know. So these ones are pure camphor. Got these on Nature Vape, like about four or five different ohms altogether. So yeah, for this one, we're going to try this one. So yeah, for this build, just put your leg under the, under the screw, one on each side. Very simple one, this one. Just hold it down like that and screw it down. And same on the other side. Simple and easy. On these posts, there is a little groove here. So you can pull your wire across into that groove to make sure it's nice and flush and not touching the chamber afterwards. This coil is coming in at a 1.05. Go quick and fire it. A few hot spots. Give a brush. That for me is glowing nice and even actually. Simple. And now it's coming in at 1.08. So yeah, I'm just gonna snip the wires. Cutting straight through. I like mine slightly loose me. That's just the way I am. I don't like my cotton too tight. Just trim it straight to the base. Like so. Give it a little fluff up. Turn it off so I don't fire it by mistake. Then just push the cotton straight through the holes. You don't need too much cotton. Take that little bit off there. Thank you. Yeah, just straight through. I have a little bit here just exposed at the bottom, as you can see. Just a small little tuft of cotton, not too much. You don't need a lot of cotton showing here at the bottom. And that's it. The juice I'm going to be using today is going to be the mixed juice candy cane. I've already reviewed this a while ago. Really like this one. Nice peppermint vape. Give it a quick fire, get the juice inside the coil. Nice vapor, nice smell. Really nice smell. And that's coming out at 1.06 now. So I'm gonna use a straight glass, so for two mils, Screw that on, it's the 1.06. Fill up the tank. Like I said, it will hold 3.5 with a bubble glass or two mils with a straight glass. Put on the top cap. If 
for mouth to lung, I've been using it with the actual biggest hole. I've been using 1.6 for me. Mouth lung good tip. Put it on my device, have a quick vape. It's reading it as well as a 1.06, which is good. Bring it down a bit. Gonna fire it 11 watts to start with. So a quick vape. Lovely. Let's go back to the top. We'll quick talk. Okay, so there we are. That was the up close for the Freesia RTA from Dan Vape. I hope I explained it in the up close there about the air, air hole system. Like I said, there's like there's two tubes in the base. One's feeding from the direct to lung slot, one's feeding from the mouth to lung slot. So you can turn off one or the other to get a mouth to lung vape or a direct to lung vape. At the moment, I've got it on the direct to lung hole, firing at 25 watts, and I'm really enjoying the flavour from this one. Great flavour, nice airflow. It is slightly restricted, but not too much, I must say. On Dirt Salon, it's really giving me a nice flavour. Really enjoying that. Um, so let's go for the good points first. Really solid build. Really easy to coil and wick. You can hold two mils of e-liquid or 3.5 with a bubble glass. It's nice that they include the bubble glass, obviously. And like I said, on the Dirt Salon, it's giving me great flavour. Great performance. Really enjoying it. And that will then take me to the bad points. And the bad points will be the mouth to lung side of this RTA. Needs to change the strip tip. And it needs to change the airflow to mouth to lung. I'm going to put it at a 1.6 millimeter air hole first. Turn it down now to say 14 watts. Slightly loose mouth to lung with a 1.6 millimeter, but what I'm finding when I use this in the mouth to lung side, the flavor drops off drastically. Turn it down to the 1.2 millimeter, so look at the sizes 1.2. Slightly tighter mouth to lung, the one millimeter. Hmm. Quick drink. That one millimeter is a really tight draw. So yeah, the bad side for me is going to be the mouth lung side. Whilst that airflow will give you a really tight mouth to lung slightly loose or loose mouth to lung i'm finding that the flavor is not as good as on the direct to lung i do think the reason why that is is because that chamber is too open like i showed you up close that chimney is too wide you can't really get a condensed flavor because it's too open that chimney as you inhale on mouth to lung it's going straight up straight through the hole and straight to your mouth it's having no chance and no time to condense to produce more flavor Whereas if you're on the dirt lung, on a higher wattage, it produces more flavour anyway, because of the power you're putting through it. I mean, the flavour is there, but for me, it's really muted. This, for me, is more for a dirt lung. Put it back to dirt lung. Open it up fully. Pump it up. And that flavour there is night and day difference. Really nice flavour. I can really taste that candy spearmint flavour. But in the mouth to lung, it's really, really muted. It is a shame in a way. It is nice that they've tried to incorporate both a mouth to lung and divot to lung in one tank. However, the mistake that they've made is by thinking that that is controlled by just the airflow. I don't believe that just airflow makes a mouth to lung vape i think you need to have a really condensed chamber a 
a really small chimney and that always helps that the, when you vape that the vapor condenses and produces a more stronger flavor as it stands right now i can use this as a dirt to lung but for mouth to lung i can use it but i'm not enjoying the flavor Would I recommend this? If you are going to use this predominantly for a direct to lung, then yes, I could recommend this. If you are buying this to go for the mouth lung side of this, I can't recommend this, I'm afraid. There are better mouth to lung RTAs out there, better performing, with better flavour. Damn vape, it was a good effort, it was a good try to incorporate two styles in one tank, but like I said, mouth to lung and direct to lung isn't just about the airflow. It's about the chamber size, the condenting of the vapour, and the chimney size. Unfortunately, that chimney is slightly too wide, and that chamber is slightly too open to produce a great mouth-to-lung flavour. But that it's a lung, perfect. Really enjoying it, really performing well, really giving me nice clouds as you can see. Nice vapor production, really, really nice. But like I said, if you were buying this to use this as a mouth to lung, no, I wouldn't recommend this one. If you want a mouth to lung RTA, buy one that is specifically made to be just a mouth to lung vape. If you want a nice, slightly restricted dose lung vape, yeah, absolutely. I will be using this. I will use this purely for a direct to lung. Guys, hope that video. Do like the video, want to give me a thumbs up. If you're new here to the channel, why not subscribe down below to see more from me. And yeah, I'm going to say to you, like I always say to you, every time, I will see you all next time.